when Christians of any stripe support a cause that uh, strikes me as manifestly immoral, it does damage to the cause that I've given my life to. My father uh, knew Donald Trump, uh, believed in Donald Trump, and in this last election, he voted for Donald Trump. And if he were here today, I'm sure he would um, tell you that himself. President Trump firing back tonight after a Christian publication founded by the late Reverend Billy Graham called for his removal for, from office in a blistering editorial. Now you heard Graham's son, Franklin, there responding. So let's bring in the president to the Family Research Council, Tony Perkins. Good to have you with us, Tony. Good evening, Shannon. Okay, before I ask any other questions, I first need to ask, are you in agreement or do you disagree? How do you feel about this op-ed? Look, I, I think that uh, Christianity Today, like Nancy Pelosi, has made sweeping allegations without any evidence. Um, and the, the only difference is uh, Christianity Today pushed the send button. Nancy Pelosi has not yet sent her argo articles of impeachment. But I, look, I, I think there, there are some who cannot bring themselves to recognize that Donald Trump, although he never, he does not fit the mold of Republicans or independents or, or whatever, has been a president who has delivered on the promises that he has been made. And he's done more to advance religious freedom, more to advance the sanctity of life than any president we've had in my lifetime. Okay, so in the editorial, talking about the cons outweighing the pros in this case, uh, they say Trump's evangelical supporters have pointed to his Supreme Court nominees, his defense of religious liberty, and his stewardship of the economy, among other things, as achievements that justify their support of the president. None of the president's positives can balance the moral and political danger we face under a leader of such grossly immoral character. So how do you respond? I, 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 there's no evidence there. I mean, what the, his tweets, what he did before he was president. I mean, like Nancy Pelosi, there's no evidence there. It's just these sweeping allegations. The evidence, as, as I said, Shannon, says that the, if, if you judge the fruit, you, you can determine the root. And what we've seen from this president is more to advance religious freedom. Persecuted people around the world are finding not just hope from America, but literally help. We, we're seeing religious freedom restored here in this country. We're seeing the sanctity of life restored. I mean, you know, my question to Christianity today, where were they during the Barack Obama administration when Barack Obama had an attorney general who would not release information to the Congress on the illegal actions of uh, Fast and Furious? In fact, it was held in contempt of Congress. Where were the editorials uh, when Barack Obama refused to uphold and enforce the law? that being the Defense of Marriage Act? Or where were the editorials when his policies, his administration forced Christ, Christian businesses like Hobby Lobby to violate their faith by having to, to fund uh, abortion drugs in their health care plans? I mean, this is very selective and it's disingenuous and it's quite, it's just dishonest. Well, and I can't say, I, I do know that they have written uh, critically of presidents in the past who are Democrats, including President Clinton. I don't know about each of those issues, uh, but they're clearly drawing a line in the sand with respect to this. Now, Greg Sargent writing over at the Washington Post says, the transactional cast to Trump's rage over this particularly is particularly instructive once you understand that Trump and his top advisors have consciously enlisted the nation's evangelicals as an army of Trump defenders in the war against impeachment, which is widely depicted in the evangelical movement as a kind of epic persecution of Trump carried out by the godless and the damned. They, they say the headline basically is that he's scamming evangelicals. How do you feel as someone who's been one of his top supporters? I mean, for three years, he has been systematically doing what he said he was going to do when he ran for office. You know, my question to Christianity Today and those that would echo what they say, what's the option? Did they want us to support Hillary Clinton? Did they want us to support one of the other Democratic candidates who's going to run against him, who are for opening the floodgates of abortion in this country through taxpayer funding of abortion all the way to the day of birth? Is that what they want? Look, this I've been in politics for 25 years, both in office and working on the outside. The, the world is, is like the island of misfit toys. None of us are perfect. We, we make mistakes. I've made mistakes in my 25 years. But I will tell you this, it was not a mistake to, to support Donald Trump in the general election against Hillary Clinton. Okay. I would do that again. Let He's me put, proven. Let me put up a, will you have a chance next year? Uh, we'll see. Maybe she gets in the race and it's a rematch. I don't know. Um, not starting any rumors, but you just never know. It could be interesting. Okay, I want to put up some Fox News polling on President uh, Trump's job performance among white evangelicals. In March, it was the high for him earlier this year at 81%. He's now at 67%. What's your sense within the evangelical community about how they feel about this president and going to the ballot box again for him in 2020? 
I think it's very strong. I think I, I do think, and I talked to the president about this. I think his uh, actions in Syria hurt him a little bit with uh, with evangelicals. Uh, he's doing more to try to restore that in the Middle East. But look, they don't. I, I want to go back. They don't think that this is a persecution of Donald Trump. They think it's an attack on his policies. This president is going back and dismantling the left's infrastructure all the way back to to FDR. That has the left incensed. Conservatives, evangelicals see that. It's the courts that have been used to attack their freedom of religion. They have been marginalized by the elite and by the courts. This president is restoring the Constitution and the freedoms which are found in it. Yes, they support him, and I believe they will turn out to support him in the 2020 election. As long as he keeps his promises and he stays on the straight and narrow, I think he will have their support. Well, and he's got uh, nearly 180 federal judges now to his credit that I'm I'm sure they will uh, be supportive of that. In the meantime, Tony, great to have you drop in. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Shannon.